You're almost here, guys. Hey, about a Joe? It's 5.30 at night and all kinds of people are starting to check in at the Next Step Shelter in Kaka'ako. I would say that there is no typical homeless individual. Inside a sea of cubicles, temporary homes for nearly 200 people. You have to be pre-screened to stay here at the Next Step Shelter. You can't be severely disabled nor severely mentally ill. But once you get your ID card and a number, you've got to check in and check out. But you can stay here for up to two years. When you've been on the streets for as long as I have, this is, this is like paradise. There are hot showers, laundry service. You're welcome. <laughs> hot meals, a computer room, even free medical services. I would have her come back next week. So. So Dr. Omori's home project is a mobile clinic run by medical students who visit once a week. We see many, many more families, whereas it used to be maybe, you know, mostly uh, single adult males. And there are rules to follow here at the shelter. The lights go out at 9 o'clock for the family so the children can get up for school. In the back, all the way at the end, 11 p.m. the lights go out. But there's no drinking, there's no fighting, and there is a 10 o'clock curfew unless you're working. We were struggling, but we were, we were getting along. For 26 years, Dave Cannell supported his family as a supervisor at a local printing plant until diabetes cost him his job then his home. Before you know it, here comes a notice, in the, eviction notice in the mail. And, and you know, uh, you've got 45 days to try and find another place. Unable to do that, the family hit the streets. He says his wife turned to the bottle and is still out there, while he turned to the shelter and is now preparing to take the next step. I've actually gotten a place, which is, <laughs> gives me hope. We've had over 600 people from this place alone. That's not including all the shelters on the island. Transition to permanent housing since we started in 2006. For taxpayers, Gray says it's cheaper to shelter the homeless than to keep them on the streets. He says public costs like police, emergency rooms and treatment centers average about $2,800 a month per person. Compare that to 600 bucks for someone in supportive housing like here. Even though these cubicles are very tiny, under state law, all residents have to pay 60 bucks a month to stay in one. Some residents say that actually makes them feel good because they have to pay for it. It's not free. I have my comfy little bed. Belden Demacilio used to rent out a room in Waipahu. I got hurt off the job. My temporary disability insurance couldn't cover my uh, rent. The school custodian has battled homelessness on and off for the past several years. He's saving up money to get into transitional housing. I'm just trying to maintain uh, my sanity and trying to keep positive and keep on going forward. You know, and try not to dwell on the past. This is my new 30-day goal. That's writing a business plan. Then there's former business owner and mom, Melina Zales. Her cheery cubicle is filled with positive thinking and motivational techniques. Actually, this is for her. Um, everyone is a superstar. Her world, though, crumbled over a year ago when her then business partner and boyfriend got mixed up with ice. We lost our home, our cars credit cards, bank accounts, everything. After I had her, I struggled, went from friend's house to friend's house. But now Melina's accomplished her 90-day goal set when she came to leave the shelter. She's completed an online certification to help with a new job and is now qualified for low-income housing. I think homelessness is not something like a disease. It's definitely not catchy by who you know. And um, it can happen to people like me who are making $10,000 a month. This is it. Tomorrow night, I'll take you inside a transitional housing complex yeah. and show you how one man who lost it all is rebuilding his life and preparing to transition out of homelessness. Ramsey Wharton, Hawaii News Now. That'll be a big change from big here. Big change, yeah, you know. And this one? That was one of my goals. That's in downtown.